Hi guys, welcome back to In Case of Econ Struggles. Today we've got a game theory struggle for you. We're talking about the oddness theorem, which relates to the number of Nash equilibrium that are present in a given game. If these game theory videos or other videos are helping you, you're understanding econ better, make sure to like and subscribe to keep up with new videos. Today, like I said, we're talking about the oddness theorem. Let's quickly go over how we're going to do that. First thing we're going to do, we are going to review that tough chicken game that we talked about in the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium video. Make sure to click on that if you need another review of the tough chicken game and mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. We'll use that game to introduce the honest theorem and then we will play a new game called the firm entrant game to talk about situations in which the honest theorem does not apply. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So in the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium game, we played this game called Tough Chicken. Just a quick reminder on that game. We had two people, we had Joe the chicken, and we had Chicken Little, they were each driving their car and they could either choose to play tough, they could drive at each other or they could play chicken and turn away. And we decided that if they both played tough, they would get in an accident and that's going to be a relatively bad time. And if they played chicken, if at least one of them played chicken, there would be no accident. And we set up the payoffs this way. We had tough, tough, tough chicken, chicken, tough, and chicken, chicken. And we said, well, what are the pure strategies? And we said, well, if chicken little is playing tough, then I as Joe want to play chicken. And if chicken little is playing chicken, then I want to play tough as Joe. And the reverse for Chicken Little, if Joe is playing tough, then I as Chicken Little want to play chicken. And if Joe is going to play chicken, then I as Chicken Little want to play tough. So we said that the pure strategy Nash equilibrium, there were two of them. They were tough chicken or TC. And another pure strategy Nash equilibrium was chicken tough. Now we also went through in that mixed strategy video how to find the mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. And we found that these were the mixing probabilities between tough and chicken for both players. So we said there was also a mixed strategy Nash equilibrium where Joe is playing 1 11th tough and 10 11th chicken. And Chicken Little is also playing 1 11th tough and 10 11th chicken. Now, the reason we're trying to talk about this oddness theorem is we want to get a better idea of when we're done, right? If we see a question on an exam that just says, find all the Nash equilibrium of this game, then it can be tough when we're finding pure strategies or mixed strategies to think about, well, have we found all the Nash equilibrium in this game? Are there more? And how do I know whether or not there's another Nash equilibrium that I might be potentially missing? And so that's where the oddness theorem is going to come in. So the oddness theorem, in a nutshell, we'll say that there is an odd number of Nash equilibrium in a game. So just odd number of Nash equilibrium. And this is going to apply to most games. Now, it's not going to apply to all games, but we'll put that aside for the moment and we will see an example of when the oddness theorem does not apply in that firm entry game in a couple of minutes. But for now, odd number of Nash equilibrium. So let's say I have two pure strategy Nash equilibrium. That's an even number. So the oddness theorem says that I have one mixed strategy Nash equilibrium. If I have three pure strategy Nash equilibrium, if there are mixed strategy Nash equilibrium in the mix, then I would have two mixed strategy Nash equilibrium and so on. But again, oddness theorem, odd number applies to most games, but not all games. So now, Let's talk about a game in which the honest theorem does not apply and hopefully will help make it clear when the honest theorem applies and when it doesn't. So this new game is going to be called the firm entrant game, as I alluded to earlier. And let's talk about the setup for this game conceptually. So the setup, I have a street with two corners on it on this side. There is a gas station that is already in business. We're gonna call this the incumbent. So the gas station that is already on the street corner, already in market. And then there's a little sign on the lot across the street that says coming soon. 
And then here's this other gas station that is trying to open, trying to enter this market. This is also a gas station and we call these people the entrant, the person who's trying to enter the market. So let's talk about some action profiles. Let's talk about some potential actions that both the entrant and the incumbent can take. So the entrant has two options. They can either enter or not enter. And the incumbent also has two options. They can fight or yield. Now, what does that mean? That means the incumbent, if the entrant comes into the market, they can start a price war. So fight is equal to start price war and yield is equal to no price war. So let's put this into a matrix with some payoffs so that we can analyze a normal form or the matrix form of this game. So I'll call the entrant, we'll put them here, we'll call them entrant. And up top, we'll call them the incumbent. Like I said, the entrant can either enter, which I'll call E, or not enter, which I'll call N. The incumbent can either fight F or Y for yield. Now we'll put in these nice lines to make it a little easier to read. And then we will talk about the payoffs for each person given what happens. So let's say that the entrant enters and the incumbent fights. If that happens, they both lose. It's a bad situation for both of them. So they each get negative one, make that one a little nicer. If the entrant enters and incumbent yields, then they split the market evenly, one, one. And if the entrant does not enter, then if the incumbent fights, the incumbent gets all of the market. And if the entrant doesn't enter and the incumbent yields, then still the incumbent gets the entire market. So let's analyze the pure strategy in Ashley Blue here. So analyze some best responses. So let's talk, start with entrance point of view. So if incumbent is going to fight, then entrant does not want to enter because they're choosing between zero and negative one. If incumbent, if incumbent is going to yield, then entrant is choosing between one and zero and they want to enter. Now we'll do it from the incumbent's point of view. So if entrant is going to enter, then the incumbent wants to yield. And notice that if entrant does not enter, incumbent is indifferent between fighting and yielding. Both actions are gonna give the same payoff. So we underline both of them. Why does this make sense? Well, if the entrant doesn't enter, right? If this gas station never comes into being, then the incumbent doesn't really care what he does because what he does doesn't really matter because the choice between fighting or yielding really only matters if the entrant actually enters the market or not. So this right here, the fact that we have indifference between two actions, this is what we call built-in indifference. Well, why is that important? The reason that is important is because, and this is the big takeaway of this game, is that the oddness theorem does not apply with built-in indifference. So if you have a situation like the firm entrant game, you will not have an odd number of Nash equilibrium. The oddness theorem does not apply. So here we have two pure strategy Nash equilibrium. Let's go ahead and write them out just to be clear. So our pure strategy Nash equilibrium, we have enter yield and we have not enter fight. Those are our two pure strategy Nash equilibrium. They are also the only two Nash equilibrium in this game because again, we have that built-in difference. So the honest theorem does not apply. Hopefully this was helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe if you feel more comfortable with the honest theorem and game theory in general. And we'll see you next time for a, another case of econ struggles.